This is the Countess adding machine. It's a very simple adding machine. It only does addition, but it is set up for British currency. So this right hand column, it counts all the way up to 11. And if you then add one more, it carries over to the next column. So this right hand column is pence, and these next two columns are the shillings. It also uh, has an S uh, at the top here to show that. So these uh, shillings, those go up to 19. And if you then add one more, it carries over. Because there are 20 shillings in a pound. So this uh, third column here, it only shows zeros and ones. And each time when it's, it goes above one, it carries over. And the remaining four columns are for the pounds. And those are ordinary decimal columns. It has a clearing lever on the right here. And so you uh, have to pull this out and then turn it around until it hits the stop again. There's a, and there's a small a knob here that uh, stops the... Uh, crank, so you have to pull the uh, crank handle to get past this knob and then clear it. This machine was made by a company called Sumira that was founded in a small village just outside Bonn in Germany. They made various machines called Sumira and those were uh, similar to this, but they could add and subtract. They looked a lot like the Resulta adding machine. I read that the, the Samira was actually designed by somebody who'd worked for uh, uh, Paul Bruning, in, uh, who, who did the Resulta. But uh, yeah, this company, Samira, was founded near Bonn by uh, Paul Müller and his sons, and it was a, f a family company. And uh, that company still exists today. They do various uh, uh, prototyping and CAD design and manufacturing using CNC machines. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll open up this, uh, uh, this, this machine just to show you a little bit of the inside. I'll just uh, undo the four screws that hold this top uh, plate together. By the way, these top two screws have been shortened slightly because uh, if they were the same length as these two, they'd, uh, they'd interfere with the number wheels. These are ever so slightly longer. So I'll lift this up so you can see inside. It is an extremely simple mechanism. These, uh, these number wheels, they have a, a, a wheel on the side here with one big tooth that grabs onto the next number wheel when, uh, when this carries over. So when it reaches, this column reaches 11, that tooth will move this next wheel along. And here's that tooth. And it's, it's on a spring so it can uh, be pushed in. And the reason for that is so when it's at this bottom position it's, it doesn't interfere with the movement of this, this wheel at all. So that's the carry mechanism for, on all these wheels except for, for this one. This is the uh, shillings wheel that has to carry five times during a full rotation so it doesn't have a single tooth but it has a kind of a, a disc with five teeth and instead of uh, having a spring that allows it to retract it has a spring that allows it to uh, deflect to the side.
Yeah, and when you move this, this wheel, it deflects slightly. So it's a, it's a very simple mechanism. The, um, uh, the mechanism at the bottom that uh, does this clicking, that also has a, a small hook to ensure that uh, when a carrier is performed, it, that other wheel doesn't overshoot. So when it, uh, when it sort of clicks, it also ensures that uh, yeah, the wheel can't move too fast. So, that was the Countess uh, adding machine. Thank you for watching.